NASA dubbed it the little helicopter that could, but the space agency's Ingenuity drone, which has made history achieving the first powered flight on Mars, has suffered irreparable damage and its mission on the Red Planet is now at an end. It recently performed an emergency landing and was damaged in the process. NASA has since released this image showing the shadow of the damaged rotor at the end there. You can see it. It's flown 72 times in the last three years, proving it is possible with the right technology to take off in the planet's ultra-thin atmosphere. Here's the NASA administrator, Bill Nelson. It is bittersweet that I must announce that Ingenuity, the little helicopter that could, and it kept saying, I think I can, I think I can. Well, it is now taking its last flight on Mars. What a shame. Let's speak to Nikki Fox. She's the Associate Administrator for Science at NASA. Welcome to the program, Nikki. What was it about this helicopter that enabled it to fly? Oh, amazing technology. Um, you know, it had a, a very specially designed rotor. The actual blades were uh, specially designed. Uh, they had a very special contour in them. And of course, they were designed of uh, very ultra lightweight material. Um, and so, you know, that was a, an amazing technology leap for us to enable uh, our incredible um, Ingenuity helicopter to take the very first flight on, on another planet. Yeah, and over 70 flights, what happened on this one? Why did it go wrong? Uh, so on the previous flight, on the 71st flight, uh, we, we know that um, it actually, we lost contact with it um, on, uh, you know, during the flight. And uh, we believe it actually, uh, you know, had a had a hard landing. Uh, so it, 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 you know, it didn't, it didn't land as we as we as we wanted it to. So we we uh, actually lost contact with it. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it was a, a big, big, big wrench for us. Uh, we lost contact with it at the end of last week. And uh, um, I think, you know, a lot of us started to fear the worst at that point. But then um, the plucky little helicopter <laughs> turned back on on uh, Saturday and we got back back. And I think everyone's hopes kind of went back up, you know, yeah, still we've sending made images. Yeah, helicopter. still sending images. I mean, um, then, for, I mean, for those who, yeah. who perhaps haven't followed its progress and what it's been sending back, what what marvels have you have you seen as a result of this helicopter flying over the planet? Well, I think the fact that, you know, it flew way further and way higher um, than uh, than we actually thought it would be able to do. But it, it gave us just a, a different view. Obviously, we've got the incredible Mars rovers uh, that are driving around the planet and, and sending us, you know, I, I like to call it like the daily postcard uh, that we get whenever Perseverance sends us back an amazing image. But, you know, Ingenuity just gave us a very different perspective. And it literally is like, you know, imagine taking a helicopter ride over your house. It looks completely different if you drive past it um, from the street. So it just gave us a very, very different view. And as the administrator actually uh, notes, if you watch all of his incredible video, um, you know, it actually was scouting out for the Perseverance rover. So Ingenuity could fly out and look at the area that we were then going to send Perseverance into to, to, to take the samples. Phenomenal. Um, so where does this take us? Because obviously the, the objective is to get man onto the red planet. How would that technology be taken and used to the benefit of the first team that gets there? Well, I mean, actually a very similar way, if you think about it, you know, the ability to actually scout out and check the the areas that uh, we would be sending our crew into, uh, again, to take samples, to do that incredible science uh, that our astronauts do, but that ability to basically have like an advanced scouting party uh, right. that can fly but out. But you wouldn't expand it and enlarge out. it to put people on so that they could travel. You wouldn't be able to do that. Um, we couldn't do it today. But, you know, stay tuned. <laughs> I like it. Uh, that is that is very tantalizing. Just one one last thought. I mean, now that you don't very briefly, you don't have that ability now. What What is left on the planet that is sending information back? So we still, of course, have uh, our two rovers, Curiosity and Perseverance. Uh, Perseverance will continue. Um, actually, Perseverance right now is sending down um, all of the remaining data from Ingenuity. Uh, Ingenuity sort of sends yeah. the data through pers Perseverance. So right now, Perseverance is staying where it is, and it will make sure we have every single bit of the precious data from Ingenuity down. And then once that's finished, Perseverance will then drive away and continue okay. uh, to do its, its sort of traverse Okay. Of, uh, of Mars and taking more samples. Extraordinary. Nikki Fox, good to talk to you. We'll be right back.